more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Yo, top billing to ya. I flock Wall Street, the home of intelligent Ravens football discussion. All you go along, get along gang members and insurrectionists. I know you're out there having to grab that and acid because Lamar Action Jackson is making you nauseous, baby, with this aerial artistry display. Now, listen, your boy's pressed for time here. As many of you know, with this move going down Thursday, early Thursday a.m., Commonwealth repping Bristol, Virginia stand up. So I am literally having to kind of piece my time together to try to hit up flop wall street here so bear with your boy I only can do a little bit of this but i have to talk to my people especially about this game finally got a chance to watch it in its entirety and i came away impressed with the aerial artistry from the ravens they looked like a passing team in this game and the game was really game plan specific we know the lines are actually very stout up front they have some boys that can get after it but really, really weak in the secondary, so game-specific planning. That's what I like to see from these dudes. And Lamar Jackson is the dude to get it done because he looks very polished with his product placement, sight adjust, everything you can think of. He is doing, to me, at a high level. But the haters are only going to look at what the haters look at. They won't look at drops, which he had a ton of in this game. They'll look at stupid shit just like yards. They won't even think about attempts, right? They're not going to attempt 50 passes per game, right? There's only so many possessions in the game. They're going to get it by any means necessary. Throw up those fists. I, so on this particular play right here, how do you get here? Fourth and 19, it's like, obviously I'm doing this before the all 22. I, I couldn't wait for it to come out there because, uh, like I said before, press for time. I want to say maybe Sammy's on a deep over route trying to find a void in the zone. And with that being said there, they're rushing three, dropping eight here. He takes like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a 13 step drop. And look at that. Half moon theory in full effect there. Double doubles. Uh, Brad Bozeman singled up right there. But man, look at that. He can't throw outside the numbers, Cletus. He has one of them little weenie arms. He can't push the ball down the field. That's all they were doing in this game. That's all they've really been doing all season. I've noticed that. A lot of this is just pushing the ball down the field. It's not even as efficient as you would like it, but look at the ease of motion right over the defender. Too damn easy. Come on, man. I love this cat's throwing motion. He doesn't have to break everybody's fingers. He understands how to throw with controlled velocity. Uh, and accuracy. What? Come on, man. Haters ain't going to give this man credit for that. Fourth and 19. How clutch is that to get the GOAT Justin Tucker in range to hit a 66-yard field goal? Come on, man. Give this guy his props. I'm telling you, I don't think anyone throws an over route better than Action Jackson. He at least hits two or three of them a game. Him to this guy, Mark Andrews, top three or four tight end in the NFL on these over routes is just money. But listen, he's doing all the stuff that the go along, get along member games say he can't do. Look at that. Right? Ease of motion, of course, but look at him step up in the pocket. Doesn't necessarily have to evacuate east and west. Step up in the pocket, ease of motion. Bang. Got him. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Like, why aren't people going to recognize this? You got a breach off the left where Villanueva is, like uh, like we already know, but it's all good. He pushes him by. All you got to do is climb the pocket. Everybody else is in tow there. Keep your eyes downfield. Look at him step towards the target. Now, listen, people who don't understand the game of football only think people who throw extremely hard and violent have big arms. Scott has a big arm. He can control it. That's the thing. He has control velocity. And he throws with what I like to say dots, meaning depends on the situation. Depending on the situation, he can flick that thing in there, obviously because of his quick throwing motion, and he can drive off that back leg if necessary. But he likes to throw a really easy, catchable ball, and he understands how to place it. Look at the product placement. Pitch perfect. Come on. Get these guys credit, man. Salute to Greg Roman for giving this guy a chance. You want to throw on first down. You Why not? That's a tendency breaker. We know the Ravens are a run team. They like to run on first down, establish tone at the beginning of a series. That's cool. You can switch it up. So giving this guy vertical throws 
on first down where it's more advantageous. Now, th at this particular time, I wish I did have the all 22 here just to see what they're in. I want to say this could be some type of quarters coverage, could be man free or something like that. All I know is you have two vertical routes on the outside. So you're working twin to the outside here, Hollywood into the boundary. Now, people told me when I watched this game, I was going to be pissed off at Hollywood Brown, and they were right. I am pissed off at Hollywood Brown here. Got a couple of curls going on on the inside. What that does is allows the safeties here to shoot up. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Lamar Jackson is doing this. He's mentally manipulating the defense. What is he doing right here, guys? What is he doing? He's not looking at his primary. You got Duvernay Andrews here on the inside. Slot curls there running with the hooks. And guess what he does? Looking off the safety, holding him just to throw an absolute gorgeous Oh, why? What more do you want from me? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my. come on, man. What is this? Come on. Hollywood can't do this to my man. Can't do this. He can't push the ball down the fields, outside the numbers, and all that go along, get along, gang bullshit. Look at this. Absolute fire. Right? Come on. Oh, right off his fingertips, man. Oh, my God. Smash concept. You got Devin Duvernay here on a hook. Slot fade by one Hollywood Brown here. And look at this. Look at Action Jackson. Looking off the fenders, feeling it, evacuate, escape claws on deck. Bang. Oh. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Why? Come on, man. What are we doing here? We can see him on the pool, originally looking, right? Originally looking right. He's just trying to hold the safety. He knows exactly where he wants to go. A lot of this stuff is done pre-snap. That's what people do not understand. A ton of post-snap involved, but a lot of pre-snap, especially if you are – diligent in your craft but we see kind of a breach here uh looks like they may have gotten away with something going on right here by zeitler maybe it was called i, I don't remember but a lot of stuff going on here look at him evade flush east west horizontal flush there ease of motion throwing on the run come on man this is the type of shit that he put on his stat sheet or his highlight reel or whatever like that Shut the go along, get along game members up because they're only going to look at a stat sheet. They won't see a drop pass. They come on, man. I don't know. This shit is frustrating to me. However, from people who are looking at it logically or people who are actually watching football and not skimming it, you can see what this guy is doing, man. He's playing some really good football. Another over route this time. We got to show some good from Hollywood right here. You're going to have him on the over. Sammy Watkins on the vert runoff. I believe you're going to have another one. This is why I wish there was the all 22 when I was doing this right there. And then you're going to have my man Latavius Murray. Some bad calls, some holding calls kind of wiped away him having even an even better game. But you can just see, man, he's money. Uh, he's coming out with the through traffic route. And they're able to get this on a couple of different occasions. Get the back to the basket play action fake. Of course, that's going to suck the defense up. It's the Ravens there. Got Ricard here with a little bit of a breach. But what does he do? Steps up in the pocket. Fires. Got him. Absolutely love that. One more time for the haters. Back to the basket. Play action fake. Get on that deep drop. Climb the pocket. Keeping your eyes downfield. Ease of motion. Accurate. Pitch perfect. Hits Hollywood in stride. Much love to everyone out there in the district, my Commonwealth of Virginia and Maryland for sending in that quality support. I completely appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you do so. Make sure you wipe your feet before you come in the house in that quality support to make sure we keep these lights on here. As you guys know, lots of haters out there pulling all kinds of crazy stuff to take money out of content creators' pockets so you just never know, all right? Appreciate you, boys. Similar concept here, except you'll have originally James Prochet going to the post. 
But with an escape clause on deck, he actually shoots that bad boy and makes it kind of a deep over route. And then you have Sammy Watkins, who was getting vert, actually, then starts to run to the post as well. But this is made by both Proche, understanding of concepts here. You can see him in the zone right there running that bad boy off. When he whips it around to take a look at Action Jackson there, he got somebody over the top, so he knows Jackson's probably not going to go there. But he sees the escape clause and the evacuation plan, and he runs towards Jackson. Great job by him right there. And then you can see the throw, man. The throw is absolutely nasty. Get his smooth criminal on. <laughs> Out that bad boy. Let's see it from this, from this angle right here. Now, look, there was a breach. In his face breach. Now look at him backpedal, right? He moonwalked his ass backwards. Moonwalked backwards and then evacuates. How many times does he do stuff like this that people just don't care or give him credit to do? How many sacks does he save? Yeah, he gets himself into some as well, but he can also do this. Oh, uh, nasty. Smooth criminal in the crouch right there. <laughs> Come on, man. This man was throwing that thing. False. All right, y'all, last one. Real men watch it in and then comment. I know the haters want to talk about mistakes so everybody else can dwell in their misery, their miserable lives. But Hollywood Brown here initially looks like he was running to the sticks. I'm not sure if he was supposed to clear out for this over route by Sammy Watkins to happen because you end up having them both in the same space. And while this initially looks like man coverage across the board, you got – uh, a curl flat defender here in the nickel. And then it looks like this particular corner is running a deep third coverage. So he's deepest of the deep. He does not want Hollywood to get behind him. And it just so happens that over route by Sammy Watkins is going in that area as well. So everyone else was manned up. You see it here on the pool. You can see it start to take shape, man, 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 you're getting doubled right here. And you got the curl flat defender. But by the time Jackson launches this bad boy, see, oh, they did a great job of banjoing right there. So it's still, man, it looked like they were on double, then they banjo. So man, 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 nowhere to go with this. But it looks like he wants to lead Sammy here on this over route. And you can see Hollywood Brown stopped. So I'm not sure if he wanted to clear out or he was supposed to clear out, but he's throwing that over route to Sammy. I thought he was throwing it straight to Hollywood Brown, but that overhead angle shows exactly what he was doing. So there you have it, man. Great win by the Ravens pulling it out. This game, though, coming up against the Broncos. I cannot wait for that game. The Broncos are a very good team led by Teddy Bridgewater. Love me some Teddy Bridgewater. So him and Lamar going at it there. And, of course, you have two very solid teams. I think that the Broncos in, hmm, Broncos may have the very best top-to-bottom receiving target core. Uh, straight up, straight up. So you would think that could be an Achilles heel of the Ravens, but it's the Ravens. Ravens going to have some – hopefully these guys are back that were out with the COVID protocols, but – it's the Ravens. I expect the Ravens to always go into a game and win that bad boy. It's going to be a tough one, but I think they can pull that out. I just want to see a very good game between these two. All right. But it's your boy, Murphy the Underground King. Thank you for rocking. Press for time. Got to bounce. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.